know how many people agree with me on this, but I absolutely think that they nerfed Sonic's Final Smash into Oblivion, and this is the most useless Final Smash in the game. Let's see if I can like do a combo out of it. Okay, you're in the air now. Certainly now I can get a combo. Look at this. It's honestly pathetic. Like, he can air dodge through it, and then all of this moving up was pointless. Yeah, now I'm like, oh, I have to go back down, and then by the time I'm down, it's... I don't even know what percent I will kill Isn't there a final hitbox? How do I hit him at the final hitbox? Even if there is one. Like, he put his hands off the controller, and it decided to kill. So, I feel like this might actually be one to join Sonic in an F tier, because... I mean, you know, you could kind of throw him in. It's, it's just not good. Like, I guess if I throw someone off stage, I could do this. I threw you into it. You don't kill, dude. If a Final Smash does not kill you at 70 or 80, it's not looking good. Yeah, so this one is... Let, let me try and avoid it. I can. But honestly, this is probably one of the best characters to avoid it with, to be fair. Uh, not looking good for a boy. Honestly, I don't think it's that great. It's had the same issue since Brawl, where you can just jump over it. I just get a little damage. It's just so easily avoidable. Like, in a free-for-all, like, I can... It disrupts the match, sure. So, Puff is a really polarizing Final Smash, because, like, it's bad until it's not. So, Puff is a free edge guard, but outside of that, insanely easy to avoid. People always say Puff is the worst Final Smash. Because if I just guard the ledge right here. Yeah. Let's talk about this. Mario has probably one of the worst final smashes just because his controller is down and it didn't even get close to killing. It did do 40%, but now that he's at 40%, just even now, it doesn't really stand a chance of just straight up killing. Like, even out of combos, it's not good. Like, you can do it. Mario does have combos out of it, which I think it makes it not the worst, but given that there's like little application to it outside of that, even then it doesn't outright kill. All right, we fit. Show me what you got. Let's try it. Basically, Mario's both that giant at the end. Yeah, so better than Mario's, I'd say. One hit just clips me, and everything works out perfectly. Super obnoxious. Whereas Mario's, you can still fall out of it even if it hits you. But like, whoops, I got hit. And then this final one, it's stronger, but not the sauce. The thing is, this is just slightly better Mario. So just regular up close. Yeah, I think the pills are just bigger. I think it's slightly better. Yeah, it's harder to get around. His is just like... Can't angle it. This is just like Mario. It just visually looks better. It does visually look better because the jabs are more rapid. Yeah, I mean, it's like if you use it properly, because, you know, if you just use it at ledge, I think it's better. I'd rather have faster Wii Fit than regular Wii Fit, I guess. Yeah. Still doesn't look great, but I think we can at least agree it's better than the bottom. Bowser Jr.'s Final Smash is a bit polarizing because, like, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. It usually it's not. But the thing is, even if it was perfect and hit everyone, every hit is hitting someone this round. And it still doesn't kill anyone. All of Mars doesn't really matter when you use it because you just take a ship, leave everyone to be eaten, and then your ship comes down. Low damage comparatively. Still steer the ship. Yeah, I can, but it looks like it stops on platforms. I'm going to try and hit the top platform and hold down. Yeah. Stops on platforms. Like, I can mix up where I land, but I can't really mix up the timing. So you just jump and avoid this damage. Then when I come down, you just jump and dodge. So they abandoned Landmaster, thank God. And now it's this activation box, which it's exactly what it looks like. And the thing is, it's a lot harder to hit than it looks. Yeah. Because the activation box is honestly pretty small. It's go time. Yeah, I can mash air dodge during it, so it's actually reactable. And I'm going to hold shield and roll as soon as I see it. It's go time. Oh, Look yeah. at that. That's bad. Just the fact that the activation is that much later, that's really bad. Showtime. Yeah, you saw me air dodge in the animation. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to even say who's better, really, because it's all just equally bad. Oh, yeah. yeah, with all the spaces, they're just easily avoidable because you can just mash that air dodge button. Like, the thing is, we really have no reason to put Fox over Falco. And you can get multiple people stuck in here. It's just a little call to the duck hunt, the Hogan Alleys, the everything. You got the, the bad men, shoot the cans. Also, this is a pretty good thing because it's a very long, drawn out cinematic, which will definitely tilt your opponent. Yep. Yep, it's spacey. Yeah, it's just Fox Final Smash. That's all it is. It's better because of the better percent, but that's about it. Okay, so a lot of the ones with activation boxes like that just become reactable. Even though this is bigger than most, I, I don't know. Just the fact you can react and just mash air dodge out of it. So this one is kind of just the same as Ness's. It looks smaller and faster, which 
Honestly, I, this just that was worse than Ness's. I, I think it's worse than Ness's just because the angles it sends at, like Ness yeah. is straight down. Ness has some big boys that are actually hard to avoid. That one, yeah, like this is me trying to avoid it. Okay, I got hit once, took 30. The thing with Villager is that it's just, it has an activation box, so it's like better than the spaces already because I can't react to it and roll like you can with the others. Look, if I'm just running around, like in, in an actual items game, it's just so hard to hit me unless I'm running into you. Yeah. I feel like her final smash has to be just as good as Villager. It's the exact same thing, except she builds Town Hall, so we don't really need to go into this one. So Mega Man's is kind of like Mewtwo, but a little smaller. It just, he sends the beam. If you get caught in the beam, you get hit by all the Mega Men's, and then Proto Man and Base. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna combo. It just, it's too slow to really have reliable combos. and make the black hole appear earlier, but that doesn't make the combos any more potent. Like, if I mash B to reactivate it, it gets bigger and harder to avoid, but still possible to avoid. Not having any throw combos or anything into it is just hard because this kit's so awkward and so slow on startup. Ice Climbers, it's not great, but, it, but you can control it. Like, you can move it around. And that's annoying. Yeah, so now that he's at 40, pretty realistic time to use a final smash. You do it, especially after I'm trying to recover. And uh, I forget that you still control the Ice Climbers and that, so I had to retreat. So Snakes is just hard to avoid because it doesn't come out until here. It's kind of the same reason why Jeff is a good assist trophy but I feel like it's bad because it's just inconsistent. Yeah, see, sometimes I just take a lot of damage, but still not gonna kill me. The thing about Ness's final smash is it's just like a bullet hell because I have absolutely just survived through it. Even then he didn't move and he only got hit once. Well, you can control it. Can still survive through it. It deals a lot of percent, can kill. But the thing is, sometimes the opponent just lives every single hit. It can kill, it can be obnoxious, but like, if you just treat it like a bullet hell, sometimes you just don't die. Show us what you got, because Roy is an activation box around him. And reactable. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to test that one. Um, it's a critical attack, weaker than Marth and Lucina, but it goes around him and not forward. It's not huge. Definitely kills early, is worse than Marth and Lucina's, but the, just the activation box being around him, it does have some different applications. Robin obviously has combos out of it just because of how her moveset works. And even then, Krom just goes off at lightning speed, which is, you know, clearly deconfirmed from the game if he's the final smash, but just all the projectiles they have, it's pretty easy to confirm into it but i feel like this is harder to get it just raw On my mark. what also makes it harder is you don't have access to the arc thunder confirm because that replaces your final smash holy crap that almost kills yeah before going into this and testing a lot of stuff out i think Tana has one of the best f smashes the best four ugh, best final smashes because very very difficult to avoid you can dodge the black hole but then mega laser comes out because it sucks you in and then you know, I think it has, it's pretty versatile, but lacks the one thing you really want, which is kill potential. You can move it up and down, so it's just like, it's just so much harder to avoid than it looks, and he just takes you off the stage. I think it's pretty good. You can mash out of it. Like, even then, I'm at 50. I'm really good at mashing. I'm okay at single button. I'm incredible at multi-button. Yeah, actually, yeah, that, that was, uh, I got very early on that one. I got out right at the end, you saw. Yeah, yeah. But even then, so it kills around 100, but even then, that's not Let great. Me see. Can I move it down while I... Oh, yeah. Oh, I got out of that. I, th that was the best mash. Corrin activates above, around, and below, but not... That's super far away. Nope. So I was at zero when getting hit. I leave at 49. Sins nowhere. Yikes. I would want it to kill at 50%. Okay, and it does. Reliable kill gets multiple people, but at the same time, it just not big enough. All right, so I just want to see who gets hit by this. Okay, so that's about the range of it. It won't hit all three of them, but definitely has a large activation box. How far does it travel? Pretty good distance, yeah. honestly. So it's a good recovery move, too, which you have yeah. Smash Meter on. I want to grab this one because this is kind of like the Marth one. It deals chip damage to everybody else. You know, like 16 across the board ain't bad, but it ain't good. Pichu's is um, honestly the exact same thing as Pikachu's, but does self-harm. So I think it's just Pikachu's, but worse. Now let's do Shulks, who absolutely can hit multiple people, and it's a small activation box in front. Cannot react to it. You cannot shield. You cannot do anything. 
and then he just does spoilers the attack, and yeah, that kills. So my guess is that Toon Links is just as good as Young Links, because, I mean, it just looks the exact same. No, they did not actually make this worse than Young Links, right? Yeah, I'm honestly a bit surprised that this is worse than Young Links, but it doesn't feel worse by much. DD got a new Final Smash. He uh, brings you to the Rage in the Cage. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know which way to DI. All right. Does 71%, dude. So that's the thing. That's true. If it killed off the top, it'd be better. But just the fact, like, you can get some really cheeky kills. At so, like, right at the ledge of Battlefield, I'm pretty sure this will deal 71% and kill. Yep, all right, it did. Incineroar's final smash is kind of like K. Rule and all the other big boys where they just dash into you, but he throws them in the ring and hits them with the moonlish moon salt, whatever, whatever. But pretty good kill power to 66, and if I was at like 20, I'd probably be dead. This, I am at 30%, and it's just an activation box in front of him, and it kills. I think what makes the final smash good is how easy it is to hit. So even though DK's is very strong, being hard to hit puts in like a solid B tier for me. Yeah. So Young Winx is strong but hard to hit, does massive damage. E. E. Okay, so he has grab confirms, he has hit confirms. And it's super strong. You're at zero, to be fair. Okay, so he definitely has a lot of mix-ups and pressure he can do into it. Nope. Yeah, it looks like it activates during the portrait, which is different from all the others, because everything else has a hitbox fly by soon after. It's the exact same thing in concept. It's just like he gets a reticle. He has a timer on it. I try and run away from it. I would say smaller reticle, easier to dodge. You cannot react to when he actually decides to launch it. Little Max is just as good as Donkey Kong, but actually a little better, because unlike Donkey Kong, Little Max flies forward. Yeah, look, he flies. Oh, that's really good distance for a beat em up Final Smash like that. Okay, so Gun Mario's is a lot like Samus's, but smaller. It, it carries him away, kills at zero. You know, for in that situation. Because, like, this is kind of a good strat with Samus's, because now I can control the whole stage. And, like, a lot of people, when they see a Final Smash, they want to jump and avoid it. And just the fact it lingers for so long makes it really good. Because people want to say positioning is important, but the thing is, if it covers the whole stage, even on most casual stages, you patrol the whole stage, and then you can even angle it up. We can talk about Dark Samus. So this is nearly the exact same thing as Samus, so we're just gonna put it right next to her. Cheeks is really good because it reminds me a whole lot of Marth's Final Smash, because even if I'm all the way over here, Sheik is still coming for me. Does it affect all three of them? No, it has one hitbox that puts them all away, but it gets one. Does it send backwards of where Sheik is facing? Huh. And so, on walk-offs, this is a really good Final Smash. Okay, yep. so it sends backwards. All right, let's say 12 right here. Okay. So if this Sheik is at 12, and you hit him on the other side, that yeah. kills at 12. That's that's, that's that's insanely good. Bayonetta's, everyone wants to say, is immediate S tier, because it's an AoE uh, witch time, which just means I, I just get to do whatever I want, and then if I hit you upwards, and then mash A, I get the bonus damage, and if you're at 100, you just die. And But the thing is, invincibility frames are extended in it, and also... Like, it, it's harder to hit then, and then you just waste it nearly. Like, the thing is, this seems so guaranteed, but, like, realistically, you're not going to be at zero when you use this anyways. What do they do to you, Bayonetta? Okay, so now let's say you're at 40. Um, then you can just hit as many people as you want, but then, like, if they're falling down, you just don't get anything. You know, you can just run from all of them or hit them all up. It, it's hard to give mobile. They not only nerfed Bayo, they nerfed her final smash. Like, it's so much harder to work. Just her moves don't work as well. It's 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 hard, man. So Inklings is killer whale and like easily avoidable because you can also react to it, but Inkling can still move. It, it has like a long activation frames and you can angle it up and down. It's just that positioning matters so much. It's kind of like the Rob one because if you do in the center of the stage, I can just easily avoid it, put it in the center. Because now if it's in the center, I can just camp over here. The reticle is massive. Like, try and, no, no, try and whiff. Like, do it right. Like, I'm way out of the reticle. Like, they want to say it's quick to dodge. 
but like the thing is, you get one air dodge and you can mix up the timing on when you do it. Mewtwo's final smash has an activation box that pretty sizable. Goes across the stage pretty good. 48 damage, kills. I think it has good range, good kill power, and is reactable, but even then, it just has everything else in its favor. And if you're playing a free-for-all or something, like, this is bound to disrupt a bunch of stuff. Okay, so his final smash is kind of like Ike's, but with his feet and punch. Oh my god, dude, Vincent goes... <laughs> Dude, that, I think that is by far the most violent looking Final Smash, and there is a lot of them. So he does have some confirms into it, and God, I cannot get over That's it. That's so brutal. It's so brutal. Like, it's kind of getting carried by this top platform, but this feels like it's the strongest of all, like, the Ike and stuff. I would guess that, like, down till Final Smash combos. Yeah, he at least has that. Yeah, so you do have a combo out of down tilt, but that's a lot harder to get than a grab. Yeah. Okay, so Ganon's final smash is really good. It does hit multiple people, and if you're in front of them, it stuns you, which kind of just confirms the hit, does more damage. Also covers the whole stage straight forward. You see where an actual beast Ganon swings his sword down? That's a spike. Yeah, so there's... Yeah, I never oh. realized that, actually. Uh, I think it's new to this game. Down throw final smash is definitely true. There we go. Yeah, so here's the thing with K. Rool. It's very similar to Ridley, because he just flies forward, but similar range, too. I just want to see how far that went. Also, you have down through Final Smash. Oh. That's disgusting. I didn't even think about that. So just 60 and almost killed me. Yeah, just the fact he has that confirmed, which is free. Insanely free confirmed. Press down, you hold B. I have to assume that... Kirby actually has combos into this. Yeah. Like, F throw is absolutely a combo throw. Being that you can get a confirm into Final Smash out of a grab, I, I feel like that's mad good, honestly. I think just the situation of it makes the Final Smash even better. You can get all three of them. You can cover a lot of ground right here. In free-for-alls, it's really good. I think Krom's cooking with this one. So he, Matt Mercer just kind of screams at you, and then he kills you. Uh, doesn't kill at zero, and that's a shame. Let's say 15, and the thing is, you can activate it from across the stage. Pretty good range, pretty quick, and kills at 15. So Greninja absolutely can like probably come out a down tilt too. He probably has a few setups into it, honestly. Ooh, it always goes to the center, so it's always going to kill off the top platform, which is really good. Same with Ike. Yeah, I mean, look, it's it's that whole plank he hits. Oh. Which, oh, that is some distance he has. Yeah, no, that's actually deceiving. Yeah. So that does look like a combo. So Ryu and Ken, some of the more interesting final smashes, because it's, it's hard to place them because they have two separate final smashes. If you're far away from me... I get this one, which is just Mario Final Smash. But then, um, you know, out of confirms, you can do this, which is just much, much stronger and much, much better. That's a lot better. 51%. Probably cancel it out of aerials, which is really good. So if you land a straight aerial, you get your Final Smash. Yep. Yeah. So uh, any aerial can cancel into it, and it's, it's, a, it's a little gross, honestly. Oh, that, that was not close enough to activate. But I comboed still, though. Still comboed. Also, this is something that's disgusting. You can do down air into... Yeah, I think just the gimmick that they have that they can cancel all their moves into specials. Yeah, that was just a combo. Ryu's will kill at the same percent from here, from here, from here. But Kent will kill differently from here, then here, then here. But just the fact it carries you so far off the side. Because, like, right here, you know, Ryu might actually get a kill. But from center stage, like, there's no way that's going to be killing. So let's see if I can get other people along the way. Nope, they just kind of sit and watch. So Rob just turns into something hidden in Area 51. And you can't really dodge this one. The only problem is what if I do this while I'm facing the wrong way or something like that. Like over here, you kind of want to use it facing the stage. And you can just easily position yourself for this one. Because like, look at this. It covers the whole stage. I think Meta Knight's Final Smash actually got pretty buffed between Smash 4 to this game. He used to only activate in front of him. Now it's the behind. Yeah, because 
Um, in old Meta Knight, he used to only go right in front of him, but now it's this area around him. So it's now like anything you do pretty much just combos into it. Because if it's just around you, Meta Knight has a lot of combo moves and a few kill moves. So just the fact that he has all kinds of moves that combo into it is just insanely good. You know, like up air combos into it. Like any stray hit from Meta Knight should combo into his final smash. You're at 40 and way above me. And now I'm dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, so Meta Knight has all kinds of combos in his final smash. Did I get the squad? You, you can pull them all in. Oh, this is probably one of the best final smashes in the game. Oh, that was actually... That actually did work. Yeah, and I think you're 1% away from dying there. All right, so Link's final smash is just an arrow shot through the heart, and then we just snipe them all. Yeah, they're all dead. So if you happen to get everyone in a line in that, there are even some sneaky applications where, like, do it from ledge. Like, someone could get this, but, like, if someone got that, you're sick. Yeah, no, that's sick. If you get that in an actual match, you're officially sick, but I don't think that's that practical. Yeah, you can do that as a confirm. He does have Omni Slash. It's pretty much Ike Final Smash. This brings you to the center. But unlike Ike, kills. So I want to assume that, like, um, during the throw, I can... You are grounded, it looks like. But that means you could only shield, and that doesn't do anything. So even on this top platform, I want to see if you get me. Hard to escape. Zips me out of there. Barely living at 40. Yeah, so there's no hitbox on it below. I don't yeah. see if I'm over here. Okay, it does so there's a blind spot directly up below him. Uh, it does have kill power, covers a whole lot of stage. I think it's probably high A. So the thing about Diddy is grab confirms don't matter. So like none of that matters because he just patrols the whole space, which this looks really bad. And then he does this. And that's yeah. really annoying. If I'm all the way over here, I can just use it and it's all the same really. It's just, how much damage is the Lucas going to take from this, and now does he die? See, I'm not even going to hit him beforehand. But, oh, also, this RNG was bad, because it carried him towards the yeah. blast zone. Because, look at that, that's such a huge hitbox. So, from center stage, it pushes you back with the initial hitbox. Yeah, it does not kill, it does 60% when you get all of it. Yeah, you can do that. You can do that. Also, you can't really air dodge it, because even if it's not true... It's hard to air dodge through because it's just so big. It's a dash activation. Hits above platforms, which is new to me. And what's nice about this one visually is that you can see Samus' ship in the background crashing. The other thing is from zero, this does like 76%, which is uh, pretty high, honestly. I was thinking like, does it just like evaporate? No, it doesn't. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, okay. so yeah, you just die at 100. Like a yeah, so 86. Okay, so it just straight oh, okay. up does not kill. The ship just drops you off, essentially. So it only kills above 100. 44. Yeah, so 43, 44, I think that is the universal percent where Ridley kills the entire cast, which is honestly good to know, that consistency. So 42. Yeah, so at 45%, Ridley can kill the entire cast. It's not like it's a different percent per person. It is... 45 across the board. So that's in a free-for-all, and now I think it kills at 42 in a 1v1. Okay, oh. so at 29, Ridley can back throw neutral B, and it kills. So she just picks one spot, and it honestly, really hard to avoid, because it comes out so quick. Like, Super good. I was at zero. Yeah. I am just going to take it, and I'm going to SDI my brains out. Okay. Yeah, the thing is, you follow the SDI. Yeah. You can still move it. So you saw him moving out. Oh, so hard. Like, I was off stage where I should be the strongest, avoiding that. Okay, so if I'm in the air and not grounded, I can air dodge out that last hit. So I, I'm going to SDI out again and mash air dodge. Yep, it can. Yep, follows air dodges if you, uh, S... God, yeah, that's really good. That kills at zero. Very hard to avoid. And so they're just running around. Oh, so one can hit him multiple times. Yeah, like this is so disruptive, you know? It's kind of like Diddy, Sonic, Pac-Man all kind of have the same in concept, but they're all just 
drastically different power levels. This is Sonic Stone right, pretty much. Yeah, like this is, it's strong. You kill all three of them there. Mars Final Smash is absolutely busted because it kills at zero. So, uh, how about that? All right, here we go. Hits multiple, flies across. You, you don't die as much as people think you do. Cause like, you're standing right there, Lucina. Just right where you were. Like, I can cancel it. Like, you can do hella shortens with this. What about Lucina's? Oh, kills at zero too. So these characters actually do have the exact same final smash. Like, most Echoes have something different, but they do, um, just given their move set, they don't really have, like, confirms that aren't gonna be these projectiles. Like, you just kinda fish for something, and if you get it, you get it. You can do Holy Water, Grand Cross. Like, you can use all of your ledge trapping specials and combo those into this. This is just free. Like, that combo is absolutely free. Like, just fish for holy water, and then you don't waste your final smash, and then everything else is just set up for you. Yeah, oh, okay. Like, Look at that. Like, that, that was actual pressure. That, that was actual pressure. Like, that was what Belmont Neutral looks like. Suddenly just became so much more consistent. If I'm not wrong, Dark Pit actually uses his staff in this one. So it's a lot like Link in a way, because he just kind of shoots a beam forward and yeah, looks drastically weaker. Like sure they were at zero, but. Okay, does yeah. have an activation box, which is kind of rare for something like this. Yeah, I'm buffering the roll there. Oh, so it has a secret activation box that stuns you, which is actually big, that's huge. It's pretty much Zelda's final smash from the previous games, which uh, he had this in Smash 4 as well. Yeah, that covers the entire stage. You can use it unpredictably too. I think this could rival Link because just the fact every throw combos into it, because Link's was just a little too slow to yeah. combo out of. It has an activation box, which is unavoidable. Like you cannot avoid an activation box. So look, now let me try back throw. Oh, that definitely combos. Oh, back throw is all base knockback. So I don't that, like that. Actually, I, I want to see if I can just straight up buffer this. Yeah, yep. you can actually buffer it. You can buffer that out of throws. This is the easiest confirm for a final smash. Absolutely. That's so good. Look, so what you do is you just hold back and then hold the B button, and then you get it every single time. If this is easier to hit and kills 20% later, plus also, look, if I grab him at zero and throw him off stage, probably kills. Come on, dude. I can't believe you can just buffer that. Yeah, that's so free. Like, I honestly think it's hard to say that this is better than Mars because Mars is so good. But just given the versatility of what his kit can do, I really do think this is better than Mars. Wario, they removed Wario Man in a way. And now, I mean, it's still kind of like Wario Man. They just changed a little bit. Not as exciting or have nearly as much personality as it once did. Uh, yep, he has it too. Well, let me get you a 30. All right. That kills at 30. Good boys. You get multiple. It yeah. gets multiple. It goes through the whole line as it normally does. This is like all base knockback. Dude. Like, he's at 120 and that still combos. Here's the thing about Zelda's. Is that stand over there, Mr. Dr. Mario. If I final smash this way, look at this. It sucks you up from all the way over there. It's really good. Also, you can do this, which like... You can do everything you can to avoid it, but this also puts people in a very scary tech situation. The thing is, you can run away from it, sure, because, like, hold shield. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. No, you can't even hold shield against it. You can try and air dodge and try and jump away. You can directional. And there are just so many broken strats to this. You can argue that it's not great to go all the way out here, because, look, it sucks them up. Oh, that was too far that time. Oh, oh hold no. up. No. It's, yeah, this still kills at zero, just because you're that close to the blast when you can suck him up. I'm gonna do it right here. Nope. Nope, can't. You don't really have many answers to avoid this. 100%, it just kills you instantly. So you can get a quick kill, or you can try and gimmick someone by using it early. So uh, I'm just gonna do you a favor and just say that this is the best final smash in the game. It does so much. It does 24 damage, and then you just get a free hit. Yeah. People want to disagree because it's just a dance and it's lame. But the thing is, she does a dance, puts everyone to sleep, she can heal for 60%, and you can mash out of it, but even then, it's not strong enough. And you get a free fully charged smash attack. Do you not go to sleep in the air? 
Uh, that, that would make sense if you went to sleep in the air. Let, let me Here, go. I, I just got hurt. Because look, if you're in the air, you fly down, and you're still asleep. Look how long she's asleep. He's even mashing. Oh, look, he air dodged. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. All right. All right, you, you want to start mashing shield? I, I don't think it's going to work, bud. Yeah, no. So now you want to say he's off stage. It should be golden. But what happens when you're off stage? I don't know how you argue this. Because if I just come out here, you okay. can't dodge it. You can't up through it. You can't do anything. You just die. The only real counterplay to this is to hold ledge because for, oh, very few final smashes actually kill at zero and, you know, heal you back to zero if you're at 60. And if you're playing with FS meter, all other final smashes are nerfed, but this one is still incredibly strong. And I'm just gonna play the game until he's at like a kill percent for a charge F smash. Thus concludes our final smash tier list, dear Lord. This took us so long. Wow, but you guys have been on the edge of your seat watching this one, huh? This is the final tier list. Oh, feels good to be done.